black rings around my feet just from walking the dogs yesterday. That's how much ash was in the air near downtown Portland yesterday. Today it's improving, but it's still pretty nasty. And there's grit in my house. And you can see. You and can grit see is exactly what service stuff. technician Robert Reuter has been I mean, finding a lot of these days. He's there, been slammed with calls to check on or change yes. out smoke and ash clogged furnace filters like these. Yeah, these are pretty dirty. These filters this, are just the two the months old. You can see the ash coming out of them right now. And if you think that's, that's bad, bad, check out this paper now. filter. So this filter is one week old. This is smoke. Yeah, this is smoke and and you can see the there's a little bit of ash in there. Reuter says if you want to make sure your air conditioning system filters out the harmful smoke particles, you will need a filter with what's called a MERV rating of 11 or higher anything lower. It's not going to catch the particles that are that are unhealthy for you. And while you're at it, you may want to check some other filters too, like the ones in your car. This is all ash. Nasty stuff. Stephanie Johnson, owner of Steve's Automotive in Northwest Portland, says once all the smoke and ash settles, car owners should do three things. Check your cabin air filter. Yeah, I see. Check your engine air so filter. It's pretty dirty. And clear the debris from your cowling. That's the area in front of your windshield wipers. But make sure you either blow or wash the ash off. Wiping it can actually scratch your paint. Same thing with wiper blades. You don't want to uh, turn your wiper blades on and then because that will have a tendency to scratch the windshield as well. And while you might need some expert help finding your cabin filter, you can probably check your engine filter yourself and that goes for your furnace filter as well. As for how much one of those higher end furnace filters will cost you, Reuter told me you can grab one for anywhere between 20 and $40. In Southwest Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.